Go for it. Okay. Picture an elderly 47 pound year old woman, or not, oh, sorry. Uh, picture a 47 pound woman where she's elderly, laying in bed all the time because if she tries to get up on her own, she could fall because her bones are so fragile. Uh, needing help to go, just go to the bathroom, eventually having to wear diapers because if she falls, she could break her back. The reason you should listen to me is because you can learn how to tell whether someone has an eating disorder and how to help them reach out for help. I'm going to share signs, how common it is, and how you can help. According to the website Help Guide, warning signs include worrying about weight. Um, you can start to tell, depending on how bad they are, their hair starts to ruin. Um, there's like nothing to it. Um, um, they constantly worry about what they eat. They eat very small portions if they do eat, which a lot of times they won't. Um, they worry about how they look. This is especially too true for teenagers and young adults who face extra pressure to fit in and how and look to uh, and look attractive at the time when with their bodies are changing. As a result, it can be challenging to tell the difference between eating disorders and normal self-concerns. When I was in eighth and ninth grade, I started like dealing with this. I don't know if I would consider it eating disorder or because I don't like to self-diagnose myself for things. Um, but I would, this was when I stayed all night with my grandma a lot, so I got away with it. I would hide my food, I would throw it out. Um, a lot of times for, for breakfast, I'd have like Pop-Tarts and stuff, so I'd just hide it and then plan on throwing it away later. Um, but eventually, I started eating again once I stopped spending the night so much over there. People often with eating disorders will go through great weeks to hide like I did. Um, problems, hide the problems. However, here are some few red flags. Making excuses to avoid meals or situations in avoiding food. Eating tiny portions, con um, obsessively counting calories, taking a lot of different pills for weight loss, sudden and severe weight loss, and lying about their big change weight loss. According to DMH, only one in 10 people with eating disorders receive treatment. Eating disorders are more common in women. It's most common in teenagers ages 14 through 18, <clears throat> um, young adults ages 19 through 40, adults ages 41 through 60. The most rare ones are toddlers and children ages 3 through 13, and senior citizens ages 60 and up. You may ask, well, how can I help? First off, pick a good time. Explain your concerns. Be supportive. Don't show like judginess when you're talking to them because they're not going to want to. And be prepared for denial, being lied to. Um, I'd like to finish my story from earlier. This is kind of confusing, so bear with me. Oh, crap, I forgot to do this. Okay, here's a slide that talks about it. I forgot to show it. Okay. Nor is my face in this picture. Um, this little girl in this picture 
is the granddaughter of the lady with the eating disorder, which her name is Dorothy because this is going to get confusing, so bear with me. She passed away, uh, uh, after the woman passed away, um, her granddaughter spent the night with her other grandmother, which is the caretaker of the deceased woman. So that's the confusing part. Um, the little girl, I don't think they were planning on spending the night, so she didn't have anything to wear to bed. 